Hi y'all, she was seven. Okay, so <clears throat> I wanted to make a video about women not having to pay on dates. Um, because a lot of women get used <clears throat> and a lot of men get used. And so a lot of guys have started this thing where they're um, wanting the woman to go Dutch or to pay half of the date or something like that. And that is, that's a problem because if the woman is going to pay for the date, then the man needs to pay for, uh, <laughs> if they ever get to a sexual, um, point in their relationship, then she's going to need to charge him for that as well. Because <laughs> if, if, if a man makes a woman pay on a date, that's saying, I don't appreciate your time. I don't appreciate how long it took you to get dressed, to put on makeup, to pick out your outfit. You know, it, it costs women a lot more money to actually go on a date, okay? Uh, especially if she has kids or if she uh, works. Because, first of all, she has to, like, have an outfit and women like to go shopping. Perfume costs a lot of money. Makeup costs a lot of money. You know, getting your nails done costs a lot of money. So the effort that you put into actually looking decent to go out on a date with someone, it costs money. So then you're gonna have to come out of your pocket again to pay for your own meal. You could have went out with your friends and met somebody who would pay for a date, okay? So men, do not ask women to pay for a date. That is just childish. Yes, it is. Uh, how would you feel if you let her pay for your, uh, how would you feel if you let the woman pay for the date and you end up really liking her and she never called you back because she, she figured, well, if he's not even going to pay for the date, then that's not the kind of man I want to be with. You know, what if you really liked that woman and you messed up and made her pay and then you'd never see her again. So you got to think about stuff like that. Um, a lot of women do have this thing where they um, just use guys to go out to eat or drink and you know it happens and if if the man is wise enough to to, to figure out which type of woman uh, he's dealing with because a lot of them guys are just blinded by you know looks they don't pay attention to words to, to body language to actions you know uh, if this woman really wants to get to know you she will ask you some questions if the woman's not asking you too many questions, she's not very interested in you, she's not asking you about, you know, this or that, that's the red flag, okay? Um, most women that are just out for free meal is not are not gonna ask you a thousand questions, you know? So pay attention to that. They're also not gonna be interested in your backstory, what you do, you know, they're not, they're not gonna care as long as you've got their drinks and their dinner and um, whatever, they're cool. But you have to understand, if you get with a woman that you really like, you cannot ask her to pay for her own meal. That, that will turn her totally off and she will never call you back again. Now there's some women who are desperate who will do this. And there was like a news story the other day. I think it was this girl, she just got the army and she met this guy she thought he was like all that and she t took him to meet her grandmother for Sunday dinner the grandma didn't have a good feeling about him and a couple hours later they found the girl dead on the side of the road because all he really wanted was to steal her car he he dated her pretended to be her boyfriend and then one day he just killed her and stole her car because she had a nice car and they found him, uh, the police found him, like, uh, a couple hours later pumping gas in the car. So, ladies, be careful for men who, um, you know, who want to use you as well. Because if you're not, like, the most attractive woman in the world, and all of a sudden you have this attractive boyfriend, that should be a red flag, too. Because we all know that men are visual creatures. So, if they're, if they're way out of your league, and you know they're way out of your league... And, but you just feel like, oh, you're the luckiest woman in the world because, um, you know, you got this very attractive man. You need to look deeper into that because a lot of times they're just using you or want to take something from you, okay?
or wanting to live off of you. So that's why it's important to be sort of like, you know, if you, if if people look at you and say, well, why is he with her? Why is he with her? You need to ask that same question because a lot of times guys will use a woman and they will use one who's not very attractive and they will work on her, her esteem, her low self-esteem. And, uh, you know, a lot of women end up, you know, messed up over that and or even uh, become abused by those type of men so you got to watch out for that don't think you're lucky to be with him just because he looks good this this his bank account look good because this doesn't matter okay not not with guys <laughs> in my opinion I'm sorry looks don't matter with guys you know because guys are supposed to be the masculine uh, counterpart looks looks don't really matter in guys can they take care of a family can they provide for you are they gonna uh be able to help you you know because looks fade um are they are they gonna make a good father you know are they are they honest so you need to kind of look out for stuff like that and uh i know a lot of guys watch my videos and they comment and they say bad things and stuff like that but I, it doesn't bother me because the only type of guy that's um gonna comment negatively is if it's about him so I don't even bother wasting my time commenting about you know trying to defend myself I already know the kind of person this is the kind of person that would get upset okay <laughs> so not even on my radar but uh, I know a lot of people will say oh well you know that's being a gold digger that's being selfish that's being this I don't care as long as my kids have what they need and I have what I need and most of the things I want, then so be it. You know, I would rather be called all those things and have the things that I like in my life. I would rather be called all those things and be comfortable and have my kids going to, you know, the best schools. I would rather be called all those things by people who don't have uh, the higher standards that I do, okay? They don't call people with high standards gold diggers. Uh, who, you know, who want the best in life. You know, that's just a, a, a name that guys gave women who they could not get. Okay? So, whatever you want to label and call someone, remember that's because you're that's what you're lacking. Anyway, I'm just rambling on today. I'm sorry, y'all. I woke up and I had like... A bunch of people that wanted readings and I just finished all of them I just caught up with all of them most people want finance readings and love readings that should tell you what important things that people are focused on right now and like when I do my finance readings you know it's usually um, guys who get those more guys get finance readings more women get love readings so that should tell you that women aren't really gold diggers they just like security they want someone who really loves them they want someone who has their back you know um so y'all need to think about that and if y'all are curious about my readings i've been reading uh i've been reading since i was 13 years old and uh I do have a website and I'll link it below if y'all want to get a reading. I do I do them via email. Um, I do some on, on the phone, but they're a little bit more, um, well, you'll see all the prices on the website. Ah, all the prices, my prices range from $5 up to 50, so everyone could afford um, a reading. So I keep it in a price range. And um, the most, the love readings are 10. Finance readings are 10. General tarot readings are like 15. So everybody can kind of afford it. The more um, complex the reading gets, the price goes up. So that, that's how that works. And I, and I also, like if you're my friend on Facebook, I can do the readings in Facebook Messenger. So um, yeah, I just wanted to put that out there because everyone's always asking, you know, in the comments. So I just wanted to put that on the video yeah so so as y'all can tell my kids are in school um 
the fall's getting ready to come everything's getting ready to get cool outside they call this cuffing season where guys try to find a girl girls trying to find a guy for the holiday season so be careful out there y'all find someone who has their stuff together and find someone who's not gonna make you pay for your own christmas present this year okay all right peace